Uh, you're about ready for another treat here. This is Stan Russell Pinson, a uh, living example of David and Goliath. Which one? You're both. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm Dan Russell Pinson, and I'm going to show up my app uh, off the pails. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've been making apps since uh, 2009. I have um, 11 apps in the store now. Uh, the last two were made with Unity, and uh, that's my kind of development tool of choice. I ported about four or five of my other apps that I've created in Xcode to Unity as well. So this is an upper class apps. Um, so this is a screenshot of off the rails. You'll notice that the uh, track only extends a few feet in front of the car. That's because as you play the game, you're actually designing the uh, roller coaster track. So as you tilt the device, the track will change according to your uh, movements. And the car follows. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick demo. Or actually, I might spend a little time. All right, so uh, just like in my other apps, you uh, create a player profile. You can create up to five. And choose an avatar. And I'll just go ahead and hit play. And you have two cards that you can choose from at the beginning. And if you look at the bottom, there's a roller coaster car and a hot rod. And you can earn more cars as you progress. Which one do you want? Roller coaster? Okay, so I'll just hit go, and I'll do what all kids do. Let's get the instructions. So you start off on a really high tower, and I'm just going to tilt the device forward like this. That takes, takes you downward. And if you pull back, that takes you up. So pull forward, backwards. And if you pull all the way back, you can do a loop. It's nice and fun. Um, let's see what else we can do. There's, um, I'll take you on a little tour of the, of the scene here. So this is the kids' area. Got a little bouncy house. Fish and chips truck. And there's lots of different um, rides all throughout the amusement park. And I'm basically uh, turning left and right just by turning the device like a steering wheel. And um, it becomes really natural after you try it a few times. Um, there's a landing pad here, so if you want to end successfully, you can just uh, land and get a nice little hand here. You just set your trail behind you? Um, every few seconds, another car will spawn at the starting point. So you're, 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 you're constantly being followed by a stream of, of cars. And that can uh, come into play if you uh, were to you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. That was how you do it successfully. I'll show you how to fail. That's more fun. Uh, so, you know, one way you can fail is just by going upward and then just running out of steam. Oh, we, oh your uh, table came out. I did. So, I think my laptop went to sleep. That's what it is. Okay. But you can see over there. Um, anyway, so yeah, if you, if you go up uphill and you don't uh, alter your course, you'll just uh, stall out. You gotta do a crash. Okay, let's see. Well, you can crash. Uh, crash. Yeah, you can crash into just about anything. I'll crash into the uh, Ferris wheel. That's fun. That creates a nice chain reaction. So I make sure to put no humanity in the yeah, app. There's absolutely no living beings or animals or anything in there just to uh, just to make it clear. Um, okay, so here's uh, here's the end of the of the level. Uh, it tells you your uh, the fastest speed that you achieve, the highest altitude, and the farthest distance you travel. Um, well, since it's called off the rails, I guess I should show the, the main feature. Uh, when you tap the screen, uh, the track actually gives out, and you'll just be uh, free-falling in the air. So
So I'm just, just going to tap the screen right now. Well, I hit a booster, but anyway, so I'm just flying through the air with no track, and I'm going to let go of the screen. And uh, along the way, I hit a tunnel booster, so now I'm inside of a tunnel. And there are various boosters throughout the game. You'll see like this blue one, I'll hit that. You can see what that does. This is a chain pull booster, so just like at the beginning of most roller coasters. That gives you a nice little way to get higher up, get more altitude. And the signs give you a countdown, three, two, one, to let you know when the booster's running out. You can see I'm higher now. Is he landing on the wall? What's that? Can you land on the wall? No, you, you can only land on the landing pad at the, at the bottom. So this is a uh, speed booster. I can use that to gain speed, or I can use it to gain altitude. So if you want to get really super high, you can chain them together. I think I'm going to run out of speed and do that. Uh, so now I'm super high, I can hit the screen, and I'm just going to free fall. Oh, stop. <laughs> Should I stop? Should I let go? Should I let go? Okay. <laughs> so you can do all kinds of uh, crazy stuff. You know, do lots of uh, loops. I think I, I think I heard a crash there. I'll turn around and we can see the loop. Where, where did it go? There it is. So I just threaded the needle there. Whenever you make a loop, it will produce a money booster, which helps you earn money. So here's, here's that loop again. Um, yeah, so that's, you can hear crashing in the background. So if, if, I think I crossed the streams. I, 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 I created this, oh yeah. I have this nightmare that I'm going to get my plane to fly home and you're going to stick your head out of the back. <laughs> um, let me think, what else can I show you? Well, I'll go ahead and, um, I guess what I can do is um, go ahead and crash, I guess. Let's see, where should I crash? This looks like a good place. Oh, I missed it. So one thing you can do with the uh, games, you can save your coasters. So that, that was a pretty, that was a pretty epic one. So I'm going to save the coaster, and now it shows up in my list of coasters. And this gives you a little preview of, of what happened. So we'll, we'll relive it. So I'll hit ride it, and you can choose a different car. So I'll choose the hot rod. Oh, she heard me. She can't hear you right yeah, now. Right. <laughs> Arlie can hear me. No, 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 no. I just tested. Okay, so this is the playback of the roller coaster I just made. So I can. Um, so we're watching it in the third person now. Uh, you can also watch it in the first person, which is lots of fun, especially on the jumps. So that's that's nice. Right into the tunnel. Uh, so you can fast forward through different parts if you want. You can stop it and start it. Um, you know, you can see it for the third person. You can change the view with your finger. You can zoom in and out. Uh, so this, I, I find this part to be a lot of fun. And if, if you did something that's really cool, you can always play it back and show your friends. Um, and you can you can save as many coasters as you want. Whoa. <laughs> and you can see the other cars that are following uh, behind me. You can see you can see a few following through the sky. Oh, yeah, so across the streams. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, there's a little learning section here that helps you learn a little bit about the physics of roller coasters. So I thought it was interesting why uh, they don't make circular loops in uh, roller coasters because the, the g-force would be too high so they use a teardrop shape so the, the coaster slows down a lot before it goes over <coughs> otherwise you would get super sick and, and so on so there's lots of little um you know what is centripetal force and so on i mean there's learning in this there's, there's, there's a little bit of learning uh, these are the different vehicles that you can uh, upgrade to and um, i try to make them as fun as possible so that you can Drive an ice cream truck, truck, police car, RV bus, muscle car, tractor. It gets weirder and weirder as you go along. <laughs> 
The garbage truck is really awesome. Yeah, helicopter, just, just, you know, because. And the ultimate uh, vehicle is the robot horse. <laughs> so, if you nice, I'll show you the robot horse later. Uh, this, these are the objectives of the game. So, you can play it in sandbox mode, you just have fun making roller coasters, but um, for me, the objectives are, are the fun part. Um, there's all kinds of objectives. There's, uh, you get an objective for crashing into every single different ride. Uh, there's objectives for achieving certain speeds, uh, certain altitudes, and uh, distances. So, uh, for instance, uh, if there's, a, there's an objective for reaching 2,000 uh, meters in the, in the air, for instance, like more than a mile, more than a mile and a quarter. And you can achieve that by uh, chaining together all the different uh, boosters. And that's also a good way to get high speed. So once you get 2,000 meters in the air and you get this free fall, that's how you get those speed objectives. Uh, so to me, this, this is the most fun part of the game. There's also secret landing pads. So you have to, you, if you fly off into the ocean, you'll find little landing pads. Uh, so there's lots of little, uh, speaking of Easter eggs, uh, that's uh, another way. Uh, let's, let's see, there's uh, like achieving 10 uh, loops in a row. Is another objective, which is difficult because you start running out of speed. Uh, so th there's lots of objectives that it might take you know, like even an hour to achieve. Uh, so th there's a lot to do in, in the app. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good demo. Originally, I thought the game would be a, a path that you would draw using the, the tilting uh, method, and there would be a marble that would just be, you know, rolling freely on the path. And, and you would, the goal would be to just uh, create a path that would keep the marble on it. So uh, you could bank turns and uh, uh, have as much uh, angle as you want to make the marble go as fast as you want. Um, and there's going to be like an evil marble that would follow you. So it had all the makings of like a infinite runner, so I was going to call it Marble Run. Um, so that, that was the idea. Um, but the problem is it, just wasn't, it wasn't fun at all. It was just too hard. I mean, it all it would just fall off after a few seconds. So I, I started experimenting and putting walls up on the side to, to keep the ball in play. Um, but it just kept bouncing back and forth and hugging a corner. It just wasn't fun. So. Um, I thought it would really be nice if the ball would just stick to the path. I mean, that would, that would make the game a lot better. And that's what got me thinking about roller coasters. Um, so that's, that's how it turned in. So yeah, so that, that prototype was too hard, buggy, not fun. And there's a bug where um, the different scenes of the different track segments, even though they're perfectly flush together, every once in a while, the physics engine would kind of kick up and make the ball bounce. So just the slightest hiccup if you're going downhill super fast, just the slightest hiccup would take a ball like a mile away. So, no good, no fun. So, this is the roller coaster version. And uh, once we got that going, we, we were starting to cook a little bit. So, my initial plan was to uh, actually model the roller coaster car realistically with real wheels that, that spun um, and let the physics engine do everything. But then, uh, if you really look at a roller coaster uh, car, you notice it has wheels on, on top of the rails that it rolls on, but it has to have wheels underneath so that when you go over a loop, it doesn't fall off. And then to make sure those wheels are aligned to the track, it has to have a wheel on the side. So anyway, that was going to add up to being uh, like 12 wheels <laughs> per car. And if anybody's done physics engines, uh, it, it just gets crazy. Like the wheels start wobbling and they fall through the track. And anyway, I, I couldn't get the actual car to go more than like four inches, like with this system. And I, so I was thinking, okay, this is, this is not going to work either. But I, I was thinking, um, you know, maybe I should just, you know, do the physics myself. As, I, was saying, I was saying that as a joke. But the more I thought about it, uh, you know, with a, railroad, with a roller coaster scenario, if you pick any part of the track, the rotation and position of the car is, is locked in. So to do the physics myself wasn't so hard because 
the rotation and positioning of the car was handled already. So all I had to do was work on the speeding and acceleration and deceleration. So uh, it worked. So there, there are plenty of points in this process where I thought I was going to have to quit and this wasn't going to work. But that, that saved me. Um, so I won't go into that, but too technical. Okay, so one of the problems was it worked too well. So there's absolutely no friction uh, with this system that I built. Uh, so you could just make loops forever. That was kind of fun, but it wasn't. It, it was fun to do, but it, it's no fun when you can just do it forever. It has to be some limitations. So I added uh, a friction uh, coefficient that uh, made it a little bit more realistic. And so when uh, the car goes off the rails, at that point I cannot calculate the physics myself because it's just too complicated. Anything could happen. It could run into another car, into a piece of track. So at this point, I actually uh, pass the car over to the physics engine and let go of it. And then I check um, every frame to see if it reconnects. Once it reconnects, I just send it back to my uh, system. So that worked really well. Um, creating the track was another challenge. Uh, I'm creating a lot of geometry all on the fly. And uh, that's really hard to do on an iPhone that's not very powerful. So I ended up doing, uh, doing this like six different times, six different ways. They all worked, but they were all too slow. And this game is kind of like Oculus Rift. If you don't have a good frame rate, it's just no fun. It's no fun watching the roller coaster go like that. And it's, it doesn't, doesn't feel good either. Um, so it, eventually I found a way to uh, generate all this geometry uh, so it works. I had to get rid of the... Uh, iPhone 3DS, so I couldn't support that. Um, so I'll talk about the scenery a little bit. Most of the scenery was uh, purchased uh, objects and models. I did a lot of um, editing of the models uh, myself, but um, the majority of them were purchased. And to make the app run efficiently, I had to squash all the graphics for the whole game into one giant sprite sheet. So that took a gazillion years. Uh, so that's, that's what it looks like. When you have all one sprite sheet, it's, it saves a lot of uh, drawing time for the, for the iPhone. Was it a 2048 sheet? It was actually a 4096 by 4096. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I had to reduce a lot of polygons for the models I bought, even though they were advertised as being, uh, you know, optimized for mobile, I had to going through almost every single vertice and deleting them, that were the ones that were excessive. Um, so learning how to do the track, I was actually creating uh, geometry on the fly, and that was something new for me, so I uh, took that knowledge and I made my own little um, waving flags, which I was very proud of. Um, I also uh, did a little cross-promoting on the uh, <laughs> different rides in the game, so I decorated each of the rides as a park with one of my apps. So I have a little monster physics, tower of math, and so on. Shameless. Um, let's see, I already went over the vehicles in the game. Um, another new thing I did in this app is I use uh, 3D sound. So all the sounds that emanate in the game have a physical 3D location, and the uh, car is basically like the, the listener of the sounds. So if you pass by a loud ride, um, um, it's on your right ear and your right ear, and so on. Mm -hmm. It also, um, if you're far away from something, it's very quiet as you, it gets louder as you approach, and all that's done with the physics engine, which is, uh, it was a lot of fun to do that. For instance, the kids' area has this uh, kids' music, you probably heard it, and you know, as you enter it, it gets louder and louder, and it fades away as you, as you leave. So that, that was a nice touch. Um, so there were a lot of firsts, a lot of technical firsts in this uh, app. Uh, so I open up to questions if you can. I just want to say, um, finding Leonardo, 